A convicted murderer is now wanted for parole violation. The Georgia State Board of Pardons and Paroles has issued a warrant for Bobby J. Cole. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. Officials say Cole violated his parole after serving 27 years in prison for murder. This comes just days after his wife was found dead in a field in Lafayette. Tonight, Bliss Segment spoke with the family of the man Cole was convicted of killing. Bliss. Josh Kim murdering and robbing this man, Benjamin West, is what landed Cole in prison back in 1990. Now, West's family is speaking out. They say Cole should still be behind bars. They're warning others to be on the lookout for the convicted killer. Nearly three decades later, the details of Ellen Hogan's brother's murder are still fresh on her mind. Shot him in the back of the head left him to decompose. Bob J. Cole spent 27 years behind bars for murdering and robbing Benjamin West. The convicted killer spent the last 10 months out of prison on parole. Today, the Georgia State Board of Pardons and Paroles issued a warrant for Cole's arrest for parole violation. It's unclear what Cole did to violate his parole. Less than a month ago, Cole married 31-year-old Brittany Parker Cole, whose body was found in Lafayette last week. Here we are 10 months later and we've already got another dead body that's popped up around him. Law enforcement officials say at this time, Cole has not been named a suspect in his new bride's death. Last week, we spoke with Walker County Sheriff Steve Wilson. We're still looking at this as a natural death, an accidental death, or we have not ruled out uh, homicides. Sheriff Wilson said Cole was cooperating with the investigation. Last week, Cole told investigators he hadn't seen his new wife for several days following a disagreement. The sheriff says no one filed a missing persons report. Uh, a few days before uh, the body was found and he had not seen her. In a statement today, Brittany Parker Cole's family told us in part, quote, we are still incredibly broken by the passing of Brittany and are still trying to piece together everything that happened. It is an unexpected tragedy and we pray for answers and closure. We are aware of his parole violation and we are taking precautions concerning our family safety. Today, Hogan offered some advice to the grieving family. Stay close to the Lord and fight for Brittany. Georgia State Board of Pardons and Patrols officials say the warrant will hold Cole in custody or ensure he is not released on bond once he is in custody. Kim. Bliss, thank you. Walker County Sheriff's De detectives say that she did not have any noticeable signs of trauma. Her body was taken to a GBI crime lab for an autopsy last week. They have not released the results.